Hello. All right. So let's go and talk about simplifying, all right? Um, so ladies and gentlemen, let's, uh, if we're going to go back through, I just want to do a quick little review on multiplying and then simplifying. So I have some problems up here which you guys can write down, but let's do a quick little review here of how to multiply fractions, all right? So if I had, if I said I wanted to multiply 3 times 4 times um, 4 times 5, right? When we multiply fractions, does anybody remember what you do with the numerators and denominators? You multiply straight across. We don't cross multiply? No. Right? Cross multiplication is only used when you have a proportion, meaning a ratio equal to another ratio. So we're not going to apply cross multiplication, which is the most common mistakes people forget because they say, oh, cross multiply, cross multiply. When you multiply fractions, you multiply across. Right? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what if I just did something like this? X plus 1 times X times, I'm sorry, X over 1 times 5 times X over X plus, um, X plus 1. Cross multiply. You're not going to want cross multiply, but you just do the same thing, right? You multiply across, correct? It doesn't matter if it's a polynomial or if it is a, um, a number or a binomial or anything, Caden, you're just going to multiply across. So in this case, I would have x times x plus 1 divided by 5 times x plus 1. All right? Now, the next thing I want to get with you guys. When we have a fraction that's written as 12 over 20, we didn't say, hey, leave your answers 12 over 20. We always ask you to do what? Simplify. Simplify, right? So we'd have to say, you know, what can I divide in the numerator and my denominator that's exactly the same? You say, with the largest, you can say, well, 4. So I can divide everything by 3 over um, 4 on the top and bottom, and I'd get 3 fifths, right? Divide the top and bottom by 4 because that's redundant. Now, let's look at the second equation, or second equation. Uh, problem. Is there something, without multiplying this out through, right, I could multiply this out, but is there something that they already share that I could cancel out? X plus 1, right? So in reality, this answer is just x over 5. Correct? Right? Because those cancel out. They divide into 1, as we should actually say. Right? X plus 1 divided by X plus 1, that's the same. It's redundant. Just like the 4's are redundant here, right? But what I want you guys to do is now we're, what we're doing is, so that's a quick little review on the multiplication. All right? So how are we going to do this? Well, how are we going to reduce problems when we multiply with fraction or multiply by polynomials? So one thing I want you guys to understand is this is what it's like in simple form, right? And we simplify them. So when I have a problem, or if I have a number, and I want to see if how can I rewrite to simplify, I could say, well, I can both divide it 4 by this, right? Meaning I can rewrite this as 4 times 2 and 4 times 3, right? So by factoring out a 4, what I'm really doing is showing this as a multiplication problem. It's 4 times 2 times 4 times 3. So now I cancel out my 4s, so my answer is a fraction of 2 times 3. Same way I did it here, I just divided by the I just factored off the 4 on the top and bottom. Now, this was pretty easy to see that you can cancel out the x plus 1, right? But what if you were to multiply this through? What if you had x squared plus x divided by 5x plus x? Would it be so obvious that you'd have to cancel something out? This, this you guys are pretty used to this, right? Hey, I know they're both divisible by 4. So I can cancel, I can rewrite it, and I can knock out the 4s. Here, this is not very obvious that x plus 1 is a common factor, is it? Is it very obvious? No. So ladies and gentlemen, when we're going to be um, multiplying, dividing polynomials, it's going to become very, 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 Sam, very, 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 Seaver, very, very important that we factor. 
So here's what we're going to want to do. So for this problem, I have x squared minus 4x plus 3 divided by x squared minus 6x plus 5. So the first step you guys are going to want to do is factor. Okay? So for these problems, when we're going to be multiplying and dividing, we're going to want to factor. In this case, we're dividing a polynomial by another polynomial. So what we're going to want to do is factor. Do you have that written? Your yeah, okay. So let's factor the top. Yeah. Um, what am I? Minus minus three three minus three minus three. Three. X squared minus three x minus one. Huh? X minus three plus x minus one. Then on the bottom. Minus one and minus five. Now, as a factor form, do you guys now see? Are these, e are these equal? Or are they the same? Same thing. Just one is in factor form, one is not, right? Yes. But now, once we have this factored out, do you guys see how now I can simplify this? Mm -hmm. X minus 1 divided by X minus 1, one, ladies and gentlemen, is just 1, right? So therefore, you're going to leave me with X minus 3 over X minus 5. And there you go. That's going to be your simplified answer. Okay? Did you take the X out? What do you mean take the x out? Divide both sides by x. Oh, wait, no, because it's addition. Yeah, but it's just ending in subtraction. No, Through multiplication and divi through multiplication and division they would, but not over addition and subtraction. Yes? On that example down there, I think there was five times one of those things. I don't know. Good catch. Yes. Thank you. Good catch. Thank you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're recording. Oh. oh how what are we gonna do? do? Uh, ah. Just take a picture of it. <laughs>